good, the bad, and the gossip with John Jay and Rich. All right, let's do a little GBG, Kyle. So last night was the Emmys, and on the red carpet at the Emmys, E's Juliana Rancic had Sarah Silverman, and she decided to ask, you know, something random like, hey, can I, just, how do you, what do you have in your purse there? Is there any way I can, you know, peek through it? And Sarah Silverman was like, go ahead. And what Juliana Rancic found was like, oh, are you supposed to have that? Can I look at it? Here, I can't believe you're letting me look at it. This is a, your phone case. That's cute. America. This is uh, my pot. Liquid uh, pot. Okay, moving, uh, moving on. Vapor. Yeah, she had a little uh, vaporizer uh, liquid butt thing there just uh, <laughs> hanging out there. So she's like, okay, uh, I'll just put this back in your purse. No big deal. She picked the right purse to, <laughs> to go browsing through. <laughs> totally. Now, inside the show, Seth Meyer hosted. A lot of people say he was really safe, but I think he still did a pretty, pretty good job. There was a bunch of standout, pretty funny moments from the show, one of which was when Gwen Stefani was up on stage. She kind of channeled... I would say John Travolta in her mispronouncing of Stephen Colbert's name. And the Emmy goes to the Colbert Report. Colbert. The Colbert Report. <laughs> okay. So anyways, as, as Stephen Colbert and all of his show comes up to accept their award, Jimmy Fallon, he, he just kind of like takes over. Unbelievable. She said it wrong, so there must be a mistake. So mm -hmm. it's just very interesting. It's unbelievable. I'd love I want to see the envelope. I want to see the envelope because that... Go for it. I just want to thank Stephen and all his writers for uh, doing such a great job. I mean, you guys are the best. Colbert, you guys are the greatest. He sort of just does Stephen Colbert's speech for him. And I was so glad that that happened because I'm like, somebody please address that she just said that like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody please. And that was like the most epic way of it happening. Got to be nerve-wracking to be up there and reading the envelope, don't you think? I mean, you got to have the yeah. complete sweats. Yeah, I think so, but most everyone else <laughs> did, mm -hmm. did a just a fine job. Anyway, um, Rich, earlier you were talking about how, you know, you didn't know how this would match up to the VMAs because there's all these performances at the VMAs, but there was a little bit of a performance last night from Weird Al Yankovic who was asked to sort of modernize today's theme show, too. Like, you know, for a TV show, we don't really do things like how we did back in the day where they explain what the show is about during the theme song. So Weird Al decided to, to sort of, you know, bring that to today. Here come dragons galore and some boots. Okay, to be fair, there's way more boots. <laughs> Okay, so then he keeps going on and on and on, and then Andy Samberg joins him and just makes the song even more epic. Don't get too attached to a certain guy. Have a backup, have a backup, have a backup. He might drink some poison wine. That's a spoiler, that's a spoiler, that's a spoiler. <laughs> it was really Creative. funny. It was. It, it went on for, for a kind of a long time. It rivaled Beyonce's performance. It was, it was, it was, it was long. I think and, it could have just been the Game of Thrones I'd rather one, take uh, 19 minutes of Beyonce than 11 minutes of Weird Al, by the way. <laughs> I think that's a, a wise long, choice. <laughs> but, but it was still entertaining nonetheless. Breaking Bad and Modern Family were the big winners last night. Uh, pictures from Sarah Silverman and her liquid pot vaporizer on the red carpet. And of course, the Weird Al Yankovic video is on our website right now. If you want to catch up on what you missed out, johnjamrich.com keyword GBG.